No. There. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. Uh, I'm going to start that over again. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. See instructions below. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Um, so I will call the meeting to order. It is 6.06 .06 p.m. Um, so welcome everybody. Thank you. Um, does anyone have any announcements? I do not. No, okay. Um, and we will review the agenda. So first we'll have public comment, any member reports. Um, the primary focus of this meeting tonight is to finalize the letter to the council, read the APD uh, Facebook post and video. Any updates, any upcoming agenda items and meeting schedules and any other topics. Um, so that is the agenda we have before us. So I will open the meeting to public comment now um, and I will read the other thing. During the public comment period, the chair will recognize members of the public when called on. Please identify yourself by stating your full name, preferred pronouns, and residential address. Residents are welcome to express their views for up to three minutes at the discretion of the chair based upon the number of people who wish to speak. No speaker can cede their time to another speaker. The CSSJC will not engage in a dialogue or comment on the matter raised during public comment. Um, so I see three attendees in the audience and I do see Lauren has her hand, um, her hand up. Yes, hi, good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, I wanted to just, even though I'm trying to sound out upbeat, uh, the, the heat is really getting to me. And uh, so uh, I'll make my comments brief. I live um, 12 Long Meadow Drive, Lauren Mills is my name, she, her pronouns. And um, I basically just wanted to share um, my thoughts of, you know, the uh, community uh, coming together, um, the BIPOC community uh, finding ways to come together um, despite the, the, the new um, committees that have been formed, which are wonderful and are addressing um, issues that, that are important to us. But I feel that we have not been able to really gather ourselves. And I would just encourage us to find ways to do that and also just to check up on, you know, friends and, you know, um, elderly residents that may need some extra um, help or attention. Um, and I, you know, have recently been um, at the um, senior center and I was um, given a flyer. So I just wanted to share that on Saturday, uh, July 29th. Um, there's poolside movies. Um, July 29th, they're showing Jaws at eight o'clock. And on August 5th, another Saturday, they're showing the movie Cocoon. And these are uh, family friendly and for everyone. So I just wanted to just share that. And also, um, again, just state that through this exhausting weather and um, emotionally exhausting times that we find ways to, um, you know, bring some joy and, and find ways to gather with friends and family. So I hope you have a great meeting and thank you. Bye. Thank you, Lauren, for sharing. Um, so just so everyone knows, there are now five attendees listed in the audience. If anyone else would like to give public comment, you can raise your hand and we will admit you to the meeting to speak. Um, okay. 
So I think we can move along then to any member reports. Does anybody have anything to report back to the committee? So this will come up during the, I'm sure our conversation, but I um, have been approached by, cause I'm part of the community, by people in the community that have been directly impacted um, by this youth police interaction and they are distraught. And um, one of the things that came up in these conversations, and they were informal conversations, they just wanted to express to me their distress and their grief, um, is that, you know, if there's any outreach that occurs from the town, the town administration, Cress, et cetera, that they really, really should handle it in a, in a way that, um, I guess speaks to just what they're experiencing in terms of fear, apprehension, to um, report out that type of thing. Um, and that one person suggested that maybe we need to establish, I don't know if it would be in CRESS or DEI, but a type of, um, uh, liaison that would uh, just be, you know, a person from the community that could approach other community members, particularly when something as serious as this occurs, um, where they could remain uh, anonymous, but uh, perhaps uh, seek help. So, you know, they, they do want some outreach but they want uh, folks within the town to be respectful and to be careful uh, in how that occurs. Thank you, Dee. Anyone else have anything to report back? Um, so our main agenda item today is to finalize the letter. Um, um, Allegra, oh, Lauren, yes. or, or Pam, uh, Lauren is still a panelist. We could put her back into an attendee. I'd appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Okay. I think we're good. And so D, are you able to screen share? Yes, I am. So I believe D will um, screen share the document so we can work off of it together and make any edits as we go along. Um, and yeah. we would so love hope, to hear. Yeah, from folks you. were able to read over the document. Yes. So should we go from um, comments overall um, and then we can actually go through the document itself and offer changes? Are you know, there are any large issues with it, um, particularly in the structure and laying out um a possible position because it's a possible position we have to agree upon this um as i see it at the very beginning um stating our charge which comes in the second paragraph and um really this is taken kind of from the conversation that we had last week um and how I saw it and Allegra, you know, we saw it, but again, this could be changed. The two immediate points from the CSWG charge, which are of course now um, ours, um, activation of CRESS, moving that along uh, and then establishment of resident oversight body. So maybe there's something else to be placed in there, but again, that's how we saw it there. Um, and then, 
talking about the incident itself, mentioning the Human Rights Commission, that they've taken some action, and then going back to our charge, um, repeating that uh, more, I guess, more emphatically, and then establishing a timeline of the Resident Oversight Board. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the CSWG report and the 7 Gen report, this was included, this evidence of the 2014 um, Boston Police Commissioner report. Um, and so this is something that has remained unanswered within this town. And then coming back to the town's commitment to end racism and I guess going further and bullet pointing um, are possible. And again, these are possible ways in which we could take action. One of the things that has come to light uh, since this incident is that, <coughs> excuse me, there's this group in Boston, Citizens for Juvenile Justice, um, and they do a Know Your Rights workshop for youth and for community members. That could be a possible thing that we might even think of uh, co-sponsoring in the community with other groups and with CRESS. Um, and then talking about, this was in the CSWG report, that's why I included all these hyperlinks, um, pretext stops, consent searches, that type of thing, which CSWG and 7Gen research showed, um, this only increases negative impacts and interactions for BIPOC communities. It doesn't uh, lessen crime. Um, and then here is something that, again, we could decide on possibly, you know, within the scope of this, what happens in terms of uh, families uh, or victims of negative police interactions. So this could be a possible uh, approach, a victim compensation fund to recommend, or something else. I mean, we can you know decide upon something else. Again, I'm we we Allegra and I were trying to create different possibilities, um, and then we wanted to make sure to address the youth and let them know that um, as a body, as a part of this town, we care about them and their well-being. So we wanted to make sure that that was included here, even though it is going to be addressed to the town council. It is a public document. And uh, we want our youth to know that we care about their well-being. And so then we simply concluded here. So kind of basic structure of the document. Any comments or questions? And you can, I'm gonna send the link just in case here, I'm sorry. That's what I wanted to do is send the link. Okay. Guess I have to oh, go back over here. Stop screen sharing for a moment. And then am I able, oh, I can't do chat in here. Right. Um, can you send the link through email, Allegra, while yes. I'm screen sharing? Okay. And then that way we can all get in here and maybe it'll be easier to point to different areas. Yes, um, I don't know whose hand <laughs> was up first because I was looking down at the document. I'm sorry, my apologies. So I'll just go with who's at the top, Miss Pat. Hi everyone. First of all, I want to thank our coaches for the draft. I read it. I thought it was well done. It covered uh, most of the areas that you know I was hoping that we will. Uh, touch upon. 
I know this has not been a very uh, easy time for so many of us. Just like Dr. D, I have been approached by so many residents thanking us, um, our committee, CSJC, uh, for the work we started to do and feeling that the community at large, the people in power, have not made efforts to ease people's fears in this town. So I hope this will be a beginning since we're sending this to the town council to see what their reaction is. So I like the document the way it is. Um, I think that the school system in some way should be involved in supporting our youth as well. And perhaps they could collaborate with the town in sponsoring the Know Your Right training that was included in this document is my thinking. I also want to thank um, the Human Rights Commission and different groups who have, who have spoken up, made public uh, statement. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pat. Philip. I just want to echo what Ms. Pat has said. Thank you both, Allegra and Dr. D, for putting together a statement. I just had a clarifying question, and I think that it's kind of already been answered. Um, this statement is going to the town council. Um, it's my question, but it sounds like that's a yes. And then I just wanted to know if we're putting out a statement in regard to the incident or trying to put out a statement in regard to uh, CSSJC. I don't know, in my thought process, it does seem a little lengthy and I think that it's good, the parts that are hit and I don't know necessarily what I would take out. Maybe I have some idea. But at the same time, I just wanted to know what's the overall goal of the statement. So great question, Philip. And I, I think that's something we need to agree upon as a committee. Um, what the conversation I had with the co-chair was that there are several statements out there already. And so functioning as a, a town committee. I think it's important that, um, and this is just my opinion. I mean, we can, again, it's, it's about consensus that we have a particular charge to fulfill. And within that particular charge, there's quite a bit that we can address in terms of not only this incident, but possibly future you know, to intervention, to, to intervene on possible future um, uh, negative uh, situations that might occur. I think it's important that we function from the standpoint of CSSJC um, because we all have, you know, I'm assuming different ideas uh, around how this could be approached what um you know some of us may may want you know such oversight to you know have the police <coughs> have the police um fired i mean i don't know it could be a, a myriad of things is is what i'm suggesting but if we look at our charge and function uh as a as a public body from the charge and what we were um put here to do um, and approach it from that vantage point. I think we can still approach it um, as far as having a statement about what occurred, that it is not speaking to the values of this town, supposedly, using their words. It is not speaking to the, um, the what we were entrusted to over, oversee, right, as the CSSJC, um, and that, we should call for accountability 
based on our charge. So again, that's where Allegra and I were coming from, but this body may want to do something else. I think personally, the CSSJC as a body built into our charge is a sense of compassion, social justice and accountability. Now, whether this is a good representation of that, I'm, I'm, uh, I would like everyone's input so we do have a, a good representation of that. But I think what we've been charged with represents that. Thank you. So I don't know if that answered no, it, the question. It, it answered the question, thank you. Thank you, Philip. I think I see Deb's hand and then Freke. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I do have some, you know, as um, as Pat had alluded to, I do kind of like, you know, like kind of editing things and stuff like that. So I do have great, some like edit, great, edits great. and stuff like that. Get ready. Um, <laughs> some, some just suggested changes. No, know. good. Um, That's <laughs> but but I think though, but I think like one of the ways, because I was trying to think like how we used to do it before um with CSWG, because I think like we would look at that, uh, we would be able to look at edits before. So I think what we used to do, we used to send the edits to um uh, Miss Moyston to Jennifer, and then Jennifer would then share it with those that that are working on the letters, and then you all would kind of put in, you know, the the ones that you thought, you know, you agreed with or whatever, and then and then and then we would discuss it at a meeting. And then let's say if you didn't accept one of my edits and I still felt strongly about it, then I would bring it up again at the meeting, you know, type of thing. Um, so the other thing, like you all were saying, would be the link, right? If we have the link, then we can kind of go in and say, hey, this is what, you know, I think, you know, would be a, a good idea in terms of an edit and stuff. And then we could, you know, discuss it and, and um and agree to it. So this is just obviously for the future. Um, not necessarily no, that today. is great. I I was yeah. I didn't really I, I didn't have a clear path on how to proceed without knowing um, if I was going to violate open meeting law. So yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So if that's um, how CSWG did it, it, it certainly makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. And it would um, go a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So exactly. Yes, yes. Let's do that. And I guess we would send it to you, Pam. Any edits? Well, yeah. I'm, yeah, I guess if we're, we, it all depends on when, when we're trying to get this out. So if we're trying to get this out ASAP, yeah, then it'd be Pam. If not, it would be um, Jennifer, you know, so we'd have to figure that out. Okay, um, well, yeah, Jennifer's not in the meeting. Pam's in the meeting. So I, that's what I'm trying to understand. Um, right. To not violate open meeting law, mm -hmm. how should we proceed um, in terms of getting edits done quickly? So okay. I'm... I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the working group might have been able to do those edits in a different way than the actual board. Um, so that's something that I would uh, have to, I am concerned that if you uh, were editing as a group outside of this meeting, that that would be a, a violation of the open meeting law, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain of that. Um, yeah, that's why, you know, again, I, I think this is something we need to explore for the future. I think, you know, today we can just, I mean, I can, get, I can let you know what I have um, and then we can just make the changes and stuff. It's, I don't have like a lot and so I have a couple of things. Oh, um, yay! Yeah, I don't <laughs> have like a ton. Allegra, did yes. you send the, um, the link to folks' email? I believe yeah. I did. did but everybody... I wasn't able to get in. I it... did try to get into it, but it, it it's not, it, it says I need access. You oh, may need okay. to grant permission, Deb. So I, um... yes, well, let me do I mean, that D, right I'm now. Sorry. Um, there Perfect. you go. Now you should be able to get in. All right. And so what do you want me to do to like, put in some of the changes that I yeah, have? Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going I, to- Can I make a suggestion? suggestion? So it's hold it up, suggest Ms. Pat, one yeah. moment. So it's in suggesting mode. So mm -hmm. whatever you're putting in is we would have to agree to the edit, and but mm -hmm. we would see what you were suggesting as an edit. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? 
Okay. Right. Yes, Miss Pat. And then I was uh, going sorry, to say okay, we yes. have. I was going to say that we have Dr. Etty hands up. Yes. If we can just allow everybody to speak, and then we can dive into editing. Absolutely. Does that you. work? Yeah. So, uh, Deb, if you could go ahead and do your suggestions or anyone else. And again, it's just real quick to explain for those, I mean, you might know Google, how Google Docs work, but in case you don't, it's in suggesting mode, you can put in anything and we would have to agree to it and accept the edit as a, as a group, okay? So put in whatever you want right now. Well, right. right now, well, sorry, one, oh. one more quick thing. Uh -huh. so should I say request edit access? Because right now I'm not being able to, to make any changes. Still? No, I got I got in, but now in the document, it, should I do request edit access? Yes. How do I actually make the changes in the, in yes, the actual yes. letter? No, it's I just have to do, I guess, commenter. I think that works. And All what's right, your I'll... what's your email? Have <laughs> Jim to become a governor kind of what's so your DD... email? DD Ferreira. Let me see. Right now, it seems like I can do it now. Oh, okay. All see. right. Let me see. I'll leave it alone. If what okay. you did, yeah, whatever you did ended up working. Awesome. Okay. okay. All right, Dr. Ete. Perfect. So sorry. I Hi. can't hear you. Okay, there you go. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, first of all, thanks to um, the framers of these documents. It requires a bit of work to get this done. Um, and it's a good platform, which we can then polish to get something out there. I think it is necessary to have a statement, um, but I would first ask what the, I'll second what um, I believe it's Philip said about the goal, but I think my question is, what is the consequence of the statement? That is, when we put out a statement, what do we expect as the result? Because I was under the impression that it was going to be a statement um, regarding accountability um, for the events of that day. Um, but to have accountability, it is necessary to know exactly what happened. Um, and to know what happened requires more than just watching the video. Um, and so, um, if we are interested in accountability, then I think we should be looking to um, ask um, for some review um, of those events and then speak to those events as we learn about them. Um, if it is about um, the charge of the committee, then that's something different. But what I see from the document is that it's a mixture of both and in that sense, it doesn't have a target that it's aiming at. Um, and so we need to figure out which, um, what the consequences are for the statements that we will be making. So thank you for that. It is a mix of both. Um, I think strategically we're aiming down the middle that one, we need to, it, I, I hate to use the term flex a bit of, as CSSJC, but we are a new committee. This is what we're charged with um, to watch for and ask for accountability for these particular incidences, particularly in light of not having the resident oversight uh, group in place. So that's one, one part of this. In terms of uh, knowing what happened, we do indeed have uh, a sense of uh, what has been shown to us through the video that you have police officers saying that young people do not have any rights. Now, you're the po political scientist, but from what I understand, young people, old people, middle-aged people have rights vested due to our constitution. And the manner in which these words are uttered 
to our young people in this community really verges on harassment and abuse. And so, you know, so when you say you don't know what happened, we know we have this a bit of time and evidence of what has occurred. We also have evidence, people in the community, I did not want to include this in here, but um, because it hasn't been totally released. So if you're saying, Dr. Ette, that we then ask for a report, an official report, as the Human Rights uh, Com Commission did, let's do it. I think that is a great way to um, ask and have accountability in this town. We need to see this information published, like now. Since the police have not given a statement, a report that I know of, we can only work with the evidence that's out there. So we can be stronger in some of the language, I agree. I was pitching down the middle, but if you'd like to be stronger in some of the language and what we're asking for um, at the bottom here, I think that would be great. So we have the target here. We affirm the following CSWG recommendations, but we can definitely have stronger, la uh, stronger language. We demand that APD freeze hiring as recommended in the report with the CSWG. Um, their visioning sessions, that were part of the CSWG report that were asked for, that were agreed upon by the town council. That hasn't happened. Know your rights training. That's something that has come to light that is available through a group in Boston. They actually commented on in the media on what occurred with this video. This video is being used now by Citizens for Juvenile Justice in training video of our youth being harassed create resident oversight board that could be a demand it doesn't have to be a recommendation as i stated again i was pitching down the middle it could be a demand create now the resident oversight board that's our job that's our charge establish protocols and utilize the crest department all nonviolent, non-criminal calls like now not a recommendation now Eliminate pretext stops, consent searches, et cetera, which are defined in the 7Gen report and the CSWG report that we know through research does not help communities of color. So, you know, give me some idea. That's why we're here uh, to discuss how strong should it be recommendations? Should it be a demand? How far do we go in asking for accountability? Um, I would be hesitant to use strength. I don't know if um, what we are looking at um, requires being strong or being soft. I think it requires being direct and clear in what we are interested in. Um, I watched the video several times and whatever happened doesn't end with the video because I think the female officer begins to speak about um, noise complaints. So there definitely is something more. Um, we do need to also consider that someone called mm -hmm. about a noise complaint. These are things that are um, antecedent to the video and in a way can color what we ended up seeing. Um, and so definitely a request, a recommendation um, demand, perhaps that would depend on the language, but um, we don't need to know what happened mm -hmm. so that we don't have to come through this situation again. Absolutely. That, yeah. So that would be um, one of the goals or the consequences I am um, looking um, forward to. And as we go through the entire documents, then um, I'm sure other members of the committee will have things they would like to add or subtract as they see fit. Absolutely. I mean, in terms of their rights, those young people could have walked off at any point 
they were not being arrested. So they were being <laughs> harassed and being told by the police there was a noise complaint, you know, uh, and when these kids asked about why do I have to show my ID, they were told they didn't have any rights. Now, um, these young people, it, it was a, it, if they were charged with anything, it would have been a misdemeanor. But they weren't being charged with anything and they could have walked off at any moment. Yet our young people respectfully waited for the two parents that came to eventually pick them up. And we're very respectful. I mean, I do, I did hear that in the video. Can I, can I jump in? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, just so you know, I did go, kind of go through and, and made some edits and stuff that we can talk about. Um, so I guess like in, ter in terms of, you know, um, Mr. Uh, Dr. Freke's um, questions and also, you know, just want to, you know, chime in, right, as one of the, uh, the committee members and everything, that um, for me, when we talked about this, it's very important for us to be clear about what it is that we want, right? So there was this incident, it was 15, well, whatever seconds, I'm not even sure how many seconds exactly, and I actually put that in the letter, which we need to kind of figure that out. Right. But there was this amount of time, right, that we viewed and that we saw that there was, you know, inappropriate, unaccept unacceptable, horrific behavior, right? So we, we have to be clear, and I think this letter, you know, um, you know clearly communicates that this is something that is unacceptable and it's trying to address all these other aspects. And as you know, CSSJC, we're the follow-up committee from uh, CSWG. So we need to come out strong and ask for that accountability. We need to make sure that it's very clear. We have the, the, uh, the video, but we also wanna make sure, you know, what you were saying, uh, um, uh, Freke, that yeah, there should be an investigation, but in the meantime, action needs to be taken because we've already seen with our own eyes what has occurred, right? So we need to make sure. And then what you were talking about, Demetria, in terms of like, you know, when they were saying that, remember, I saw in the in the video where they said they told the young people that they were detained. Once you use that word detained, you basically think that you're under arrest, right? And you have to do whatever they say, which is incorrect. Like you said, that's not true. But they use that language, which is very intimidating, which is very much, you know, putting pressure on them to do whatever they want to do for them to, you know, kind of be telling them, right? They're putting them in their place, saying you have no rights, you are, you know, you're detained right now by us. You're, you know, so kind of like really putting their power and displaying their power and letting them know that they, they, you know, yeah, they don't have rights, right? That's what they were saying. You don't have rights. So I think we need to be very clear. And then in terms of what you're asking, and, and again, do we need to use, you know, harsher language? I, I'm not sure. You know, language that is even more clearer, I'm not sure. That's something we need to discuss. But in the end of my edits, I do feel we need to kind of say something like, we expect the town to respond to our questions and or demands or requests or whatever. I mean, we need to we need to really put it out there as this committee, right? That's part of the town. Like, we res we, we expect a response because I think mm -hmm. if we just put out a letter stating all these questions, stating all these things that we want to have happen, but then don't say like we want to hear back from you with some action, or maybe we didn't need to say that, right? I I'm just processing it. I'm just think mm -hmm. thinking about it now. Like, we need to hear back from you with some action, like some action items, some action steps, so. Or maybe we need to say we need to get hear back from you within a week. I don't know. We need to be definitive, right? Because if we leave it open ended, then it's kind of like okay, we just put out a letter, and you know, what are we expecting back? You know, what are, what are we asking them to do, and make sure that they're going to do it, um, and that they had their since since I know other statements have been made, but we want to we want them to be held accountable to us. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're out here. To make sure that they're being accountable because obviously they haven't done anything they haven't put out like the statement by, by the town manager was not acceptable that was not okay you know so we need to make sure that we're very clear about that absolutely i like the um making sure that <clears throat> we expect a response and maybe we should put 
uh, some type of deadline. When's the next town council meeting? I think like August. Oh, August. Okay. I guess that is next week. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think it's mid-August. Yeah. So if I may, can I go on? Yes. Okay. I just want to remind us all for the benefit of some of us who you know, didn't follow CSWG um, meetings. The reason why we have CSSJC is because CSWG, we push to create this committee. In fact, some, some council members didn't want this group to exist. They wanted CSWG to like go away much sooner that we pushed and have this created. One of the major purpose of CSSJC is to provide recommendation to the town, to all the uh, com uh, committees in this town on social justice issues and public safety. That is our charge and I help craft our charge along with Alicia um, Walker. And then the whole CSWG then, you know, gave us input and edits and everything. Some of the things that I think helped CSWG to get some of our agenda forward is we demanded to have CSWG put on town council meeting agenda. Like we, you know, we ask that we go and do presentation to them. I think this issue is so serious enough that uh, our co-chairs should contact the town council chair to put us on the agenda so that our co-chair, that they our spokespeople to speak on our behalf and present this. But we can send the final draft to the town council, but it would be good to have our two, two co-chairs to present it to them and emphasize what is it that we, we want, what we're demanding, what, you know, the changes that we want in this town. I also feel that um, the goal, the consequences would be for these youths and their families and marginalized people in this town who feel supported that CSSJC is really taking this incident very serious. It's not only just this incident, but other larger issues of racism in this town. So I feel that that's one of the consequences. I also want to quickly say as an employer myself, CEO um, of a company, I know sometimes personnel issues are confidential, but I found out from a, uh, a community member, a resident that in fact, our state demand that each municipalities um, send any disciplinary records of police officers. So if the town comes to tell us that they can't share everything, I can direct all of us the website on uh, mass.gov where it says you send it to. So we need to know consequences for the police officers. Were they on leave without pay? Are they going to be fired? I mean, training, I'm not a big fan of, tra uh, of training. I was very clear about that at CSWG because the issue of racism in police is not about because they don't have enough training. Okay, so we need to know details of what is happened, what happened to those two officers and it's part of the accountability. So I feel that, you know, this document was well written, is very powerful. I'm, I'm very comfortable with it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Pat. Allegra, you have your hand up. I do. Um, so I just kind of was thinking um, related to this letter, and I do appreciate kind of the distinction that Freke made, and I do think that we want both, kind of like Dee said. And I'm wondering if under the kind of recommendations, because I think what we have put in there is mostly broad based. So like, what do we want overall to see in the police department, but we maybe can under, under um, where it says 
um, you know, we further recommend, maybe we say something specific to the, to the effect of like, once an investigation has been concluded, make this information public so that everyone has an understanding of what happens, you know, some, something specific, a specific request or demand related to this particular incident, not just to all of the changes that we'd so, like to see to the department in general. Where it says, in addition, the CSSJC would like to recommend the following. Yes, so maybe a bullet under there related specifically to the incident. Um, and saying uh, release the report. Or right, yeah, something something like that um, to, to increase accountability again and, and possibly begin to rebuild trust, although that might not happen right away. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that one of Deb's edits up at, in one of the other paragraphs kind of, kind of helps let, lay the groundwork for that as well. Um, so can I just take the pulse and kind of ask if people overall have major content concerns with what's stated or think that any, any major points are left out of the letter? Um, anything that they'd like to see other than, I mean, it sounds like there's some clarification of the purpose that still needs to be weeded out, but. APA, APA funding, APA funding, APA funds okay. could be used as part of um, victim fund, compensation fund. ARPA, I know. ARPA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funds, yeah, could be used for, but yeah. To, okay. And when you say victim compensation, uh, what are we talking about, Ms. Pat? Is it for community uh, outreach? Is it for individual payments? I mean, what are, what are individual, we- Individual payments. Okay. Um, for individual payments. If people feel that they, you know, have experienced racial bias in this town, they should, you know, be compensated after it's been investigated. Maybe that will make the uh, MS police to be more careful in, in interacting with uh, marginalized communities in this town. Okay, well, I don't know why mine. I know. But also, I mean, also I could envision it like when we're talking about a victim, victim compensation, I also could uh, envision it as, you know, so what happened with these young people, right? So maybe some of these young people, I don't know if they have health insurance or not, but they want, let's say if they want to go see a therapist or if they want to kind of deal with stuff like that, the, the funds would be there to allow yeah. this. So it doesn't even have to be, you know, post-investigation. It can be pre, right? To share resources with, with, with anyone that's kind of going through these things. And this is something that like the universities have to do, right? When someone files a complaint or whatever, they share resources, right? With the students, even before a complaint is investigated, just to make sure that that person feels okay, you know, in terms of going through whatever they're going through, whether it be discrimination, sexual assault, whatever the case may be. So I think a victim compensation fund could also help to do that um, as opposed to it just being post-investigation. So does yeah. this Senate yeah. speak to that? Or I, I think the original sentence that was in there spoke to it and perhaps we could put parentheses. Cash payments. Right. Therapy services, or whatever that I, may be. Yeah. I mean, I guess ARPA is different than it coming from the police op, police department itself. Um, oh, okay. Well, well I mean, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's why I don't know if we necessarily need to put. Do we need to put like where it's coming from? Because I like the fact okay, that you know the, po the police should. You know, why doesn't it come out of their funds? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? To put this uh, out there for them. You know, or the town. I mean, they need to figure that out. Yeah, that's right. That's not that's not part of our charge. <laughs> okay. So yes, Dr. Freke. Thank you. I I think we run the risk of um, putting the carts before the horse, and 
in that case, what I mean is in terms of priority, the first thing we're looking for is to have an investigation and that should come first before anything else. Um, I think the second thing is to acknowledge that the wrong has been done and to speak to those who suffered that wrong. It turns out that that is the final part of the document as it is. And I think it should be moved up to being second. And then we can bring down um, what we recommend. I think the committee, even though it's new, is strong enough and stable enough um, that um, we don't have to put that front and center, but we can have that as a reminder of what we are here for and what we expect. So in terms of priority, I'm looking at um, a call for a, an investigation where we find out what happens, then um, an acknowledgement that some harm or some wrong has been done to um, those minors. And then third, um, we could speak about um, our charge and what's our recommendations. Uh, maybe if we do that, then that's going to change um, the structure of the document. And as we go through, I'll point out, you know, those parts that I um, I'm looking to add or subtract as the case may be. Mm -hmm. So, can you get into the document, Dr. Freake? What? Sorry, can you hear me? No, I, you you went out. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. um, can, can you get into the document? The, Give me a moment. Delete, yeah, and then that way it shows up as your edit. Okay. Okay, so I'd okay. appreciate that. So in that case, please uh, continue while I get into oh, the great. document. Thank okay. you. Okay, so what do we think about that? That would uh, change the structure and emphasis of the document. Um, certainly harm is, uh, what we are discussing in terms of uh, this incident, um, but how we, where we, we should emphasize that um, is, is certainly up to us. Um, like I said, I was splitting it down the middle. Legra and I had discussed it. Um, the first draft of this did emphasize the harm, um, but then what's our role? in this community and what's our charge. So that is something that um, I always, you know, I was on the board of registers and it's like, sometimes the, the role was forgotten. <laughs> so it's like, if that's what you're charged with, let's go back to that and remind folks that um, this is what we were sent here to do and we're trying to do that job, but, What's great about our charge, unlike a board of registrars, for instance, not to say that there's not care written within the bylaws, the CSWG actually wrote into our charge a role of compassion and a role of justice. Um, so anyway, yes, Philip. I like what um, Dr. Frike is saying, and I was going to also second and suggest that, that I think for me and my first question in navigating what the statement is about, mm -hmm. I think that we haven't put out a statement yet to the town, to the community, right, as a group, yet this incident happened and definitely needs to be addressed. And it gives and allows us the opportunity to address the incident as our top priority because of this statement, but then also like you're saying, um, is to then reiterate what the CSWG groundwork and frame is for and the importance of our committee and what our charge states. So I would definitely second what Dr. Freake is saying. Okay, so Dr. Freake is getting into the document <coughs> to rearrange again all of these we would have to approve as a committee but yeah let's let's see how the, how the rearrangement uh changes the emphasis thank you philip yes I, deb. oh sorry yeah. like, i was just gonna say deb <laughs> uh -huh, okay. yeah i mean i think that's the thing you know i mean i guess i'll i'll, I'll have to wait and see how the the reorganization would um impact it 
Um, because yeah, I mean, investigation is important and that's why we have in there. But for me, my main concern is obviously the inaction, right? A lot of times, you know, people just say investigation in order to gain time and then to let the community just kind of like, you know, um, you know, just less like to lessen their upsetness, right? So that then they that so that then it can be forgotten. You know, it's used as a tactic a lot of times, the investigation part. So as long as we don't lose the 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 importance of the fact that a harm has been made, period point blank. I mean, that needs to be top and 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 foremost. A harm has been made because we've seen that video. And I don't need an investigation to see that the harm has been made. It was almost kind of like with the George Floyd um, situation, right? George Floyd was murdered. There was a video. But yet we had to go through the, the, the kangaroo court and everything and go through all of that, the ringer role, to say that, I, that he murdered him. It was clear to me that he murdered him, right? Right off the bat. So a violation occurred. So as long as that doesn't get um, tainted and watered down, then I'm okay with it. But I don't want us to just be like, oh, hey, we're asking for investigation and blah, blah, blah. No, we want a harm has been committed. Very clear about that. And then talk about a harm has been committed. You know, yes, we, we you know, we're looking, I like about moving the about the the, the young people. Yes, we can we can talk about that in, in the more in the beginning. I like that, but not necessarily like the first thing should be about the investigation, because that's always a tactic, a delay tactic. Absolutely. And I think we've seen enough of that in this town. Um, it, it, so many of us, <laughs> we want immediate uh, action. And uh, that's what we were charged to, to, to hopefully secure on behalf of the community. So um, investigations can occur and we can still demand action. Ms. Pat. So I was going to say, um, Another aspect that we haven't talked much about is the, the healing work that needs to happen. CSWG had a foresight uh, during some of our meetings when it came to, there was a list of issues that the town manager wanted us to address. One of them was community policing and we had to push back. Um, at the CSWG meeting because we felt that we don't want police coming into our community until there is actually a process, some sort of visioning for the whole town and healing. And Dr. Barbara Love came to one of our meetings and talked to us. And we put in our recommendation for that visioning and healing to be done and it will require us money to do that. So this might be an opportunity to start that process. Our town is deeply divided. And so while we're talking about harm being done, you know, we want to know exactly what happened. To be honest with you, yeah, why we want to know exactly what happened. My point is I want the you and the families to feel that, you know, we, you know, we support them. MS police can come up with their own narrative. I mean, that's the history. Yes, we want, we want it, but it's not my biggest priority. I want justice for, 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 for these kids and their family. And MS police, town of MS need to pay up, period. And there has to be a public apology by the police officers. So that's not included in the statement that they have to apologize, yeah. Okay, so is that something we want to include in the statement? Well, I think, apology? yeah, I think you all pose it as a question. I did see yeah. it in there. You pose Not it as a question. Yeah. And then also in terms of the visioning, it is there in terms right. of like yeah. engaging community visioning. But again, yeah, do we want it to be more, you know, front and center? Yeah. Can we perhaps go through the document looking particularly at Deb's edits right now, just to kind yes. of it look like there was some content stuff that was added and some also some like easy yes. removing so we of can, the- Yeah, we can approve those if that's what we wanna do. Okay, let's get to the top. So Deb's are in purple and it looks like Freke, uh, 
I, I don't know what color blue that is, but it's a particular shade. <laughs> so let's look at, at Deb's, it's a, a violet even. Um, so are we approving this one? Because we just need to um, do accept suggestion. It looks like this is just a change in a, a bit of the grammar. Yeah, I mean, just to, to explain, I just wanted to kind of stick with with like some of the lingo that we have from CSWG in terms of nonviolent, because I just think nonviolent is more encompassing. Um, and so you'll see that that's kind of the language that that I wanted to, to kind of keep throughout the document so we're consistent. Um, and I took out like non-criminal, just say nonviolent, because like I said, I think that's broader. Uh, because then if you say non-criminal, some things that are non-violent can still be criminal. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. do we agree, so, committee? Yeah, we actually, when when uh, Deb was editing, I said, aha, she wants to be consistent with CSWG. So I agree with her. Okay. And so I actually that's think that's thing. important. Yeah. 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 All right. So this one yeah. then to for agreement there, yeah. here, body instead of resident. Yeah, so, so it should be like resident oversight board as opposed to board body is there. B O I A R D yes. is what it's called. Okay, so yeah. that all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next here uh, instead of encourage. Oh so, yeah, I mean I just want a stronger language. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Again, I was shooting down the middle. You know, the I'm man. The man. It's like <laughs> what demand? Demand. Oh, demand. Yeah. Okay. The right demand. <laughs> So we will take that out. That, that is not joking. Don't joke with her. <laughs> she doesn't Absolutely. joke. <laughs> I will not joke. No. All right. So there we go. Um, and then Deb, wait, this should be okay. There, here. Okay, that. All right. Is there another? Yeah. Okay. So I have a question. Why did we why are we deleting um from the evidence? What? Go down, go down, go, yeah, go up. up oh, up, that up, went up. over there. Yeah. Yeah. So why why do we delete that? From well, that one's uh, uh, this one over here is Freckis. I think we're just doing mine right now. Yeah, so back. Okay. Gotcha. right now, we're gonna handle Dr. Freckis. Uh, right now we're doing Debs, okay? Oh, okay. Just Sorry. to kind of okay. keep things clear. So okay. here. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's the same thing, just to be consistent. Yeah, yeah. And then here so, you added a sentence. I believe yeah, it's so over here. Yeah, so over here is around the, the you know, the investigation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some, you know, we said over here, we support the scoff accountability. Then I said the video only captures, and I, I don't know how many seconds exactly. What is it that you said, Allegra? I believe it was 54. Okay. Yeah, 54 seconds of the interaction with the APD. Therefore, the entire interaction needs to be investigated. So it was just kind of to give it a little bit more yep. context um and then we further ask because i think that's that's important to say that we only saw you know a, a, a slither of it even though obviously it was already a, a, a horrific slither yeah. uh, but what what else could have you know there probably was more violations that occurred you know right. and that's where the investigation is important okay so let's continue hearing um, okay. so for me i just in terms of filing you know a lot of times when it's filing it's just kind of like filing something but really hearing them you know so i just felt like using a word like that but it could be another word though too Absolutely. that's more impactful okay so is there another word we want here a means of safely hearing resident complaints what it is this comes from um like i was pointing out um 2014 Boston Police Commissioner, came, he was hired to evaluate UMass Police and APD. So it was both after the, the Blarney blowout, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he pointed out is that we do not in this town have a clear means of residence uh, filing, hearing, get, getting heard, their complaints, uh, without in a safe way mm -hmm. right now the process is that it ultimately goes to the police there's not like a resident intermediary there's not a way in which folks could safely and anonymously uh file a complaint mm -hmm. and so reprisals or repercussions you know there's a fear of that and that's what the this boston police commissioner plenty of experience pointed out that we need to put in place. 
that has not occurred. That was 2014. That has not occurred. So I don't know if hearing is the same as filing a resident complaint. Mm -hmm. Well, but then uh, in your next sentence, you say a safe and efficient means of registering complaints made okay. by residents. So, That's the thing. all right. Yeah. Okay. So it's just kind of a, a different way of all saying right. it. And then, I guess in my opinion, like a hearing the complaint would would imply that the filing has already occurred. But mm -hmm. if we look at it in terms of official language, mm -hmm. right, legal mm -hmm. legalistic language, yeah. as opposed to uh, being heard in the community. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I was taking it. But I mean, it's I'm fine with filing. I mean, well, no, but it's since there is another statement there to clarify, I, I think yeah. that's fine. But it's up to you. All okay. right. So then here. Um, a safe and efficient means of registering complaints made by residents has been continually neglected in the town of Amherst for many years. I, I don't know about a piece of modern community. Yeah, safety. I'm very wordy, so thank you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> save, me, save me from myself, please. Okay. <laughs> Can we just put Amherst? Do we have to put the town of? Sure. Yeah, or just Amherst. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Be even less wordy. <laughs> there, we there we go, we're getting there. All right. So then are there any other one? Yeah, further so. down here. Okay. And then over here, it's just because you know how you started it with, we reaffirmed the following CSWG recommendations and then you went into it. So that's why I took out the youth one because we uh, didn't make those recommendations. And that's why I put it down there when it says, in addition, the CSSJC would like to recommend the following because this would be point. like, yeah, new recommendation. Yeah, that's the next you know? one. Yeah. So yeah. That's why I moved it from, from there to, to down there. Okay, I'll have to correct that. Later. Yeah, then you can just put, but yeah, that's yeah. why I did that, just so you all know. No, that's a, that's a good consistency issue yeah. here, okay? Yeah, and because you know people are going to be reading this and they're going to be like, wait a minute, CSWG never said that. <laughs> I know, I know. See, that's yeah. why, that is why I was coming out the thing of, okay, what is our charge? Because yeah. I, this is not my first rodeo on a town committee. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> So no, this letter is this letter is awesome. This letter is awesome. I, it's just a I, couple of I have a question. Do we need to put white supremacy? We don't need to put that. It's on it's understood. Uh, where were you? Where because were you the, the visioning sessions that Dr. Barbara talked about is to heal, uh -huh. to begin the process of healing for the whole community. Each subgroup might have, you know, yeah. Well, well, I, I think, think well, with that one though, of, but again, can we, coming like, together. Go ahead. can we just finish like my stuff and then yeah. we'll from that? Because that's, that's <laughs> Frick is, um, yes, yes, oh, that's, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Agreed, yeah. agreed, agreed. All right. All right so, because I'm almost done. I'm almost yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. So with mm -hmm. mine, the only last thing was, was the, was that in the bottom. So yeah. we need, we just need to come up with, obviously this was just something off the top of my head, but I think we need to discuss it. What's yeah. going to be our last thing? You know, like we expect the town to respond to our questions, demands to this right. letter or whatever other strong. So that's all, that was just a placeholder. So we wouldn't forget to really put a final kind of strong statement. So, so yeah. So it would be, it would be town council is the, it's our goal. That's our focus. We will CC town manager, but our focus is on town council because they are the legislative body. You know, they have the power to make things move. Right. And I really, you know, really suggest that the chair be contacted by our two co-chairs to put this on their agenda on next the agenda. time. I don't care whether they have too many agenda items. I think this is more important than anything they, they, they already plan to discuss that day. So indeed, Ms. Pat, I think we have it there if, if, if our group is in agreement that we, um, we uh, request, we demand that uh, uh, we be placed on the town council agenda, the next town council um, to uh, discuss this, you know, however we want to state it. I'll put a date. Remember, Deb, what we used to do at CSWG? Like, yeah. we actually will come up with dates. Okay. Yeah. You know, but this is and, the thing, though. But the only thing is yeah. that the reason why I had put it town and, 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 but it is the town council. So I hear that. But the only thing is, though, I don't want them also to 
have no inaction or not do anything between now and the next meeting too. You, you see what I'm saying? Yes. So, yes. because remember, we're demanding action now. So right, if you kind right, of yes. say, oh, yeah, we want to hear from you until the meeting, then that gives them an out until the meeting. <laughs> yes, you're right, right. So <laughs> we we would um, we would ask that you respond to us within uh, the week and mm -hmm. we'd be placed yeah. on um, uh, the next town council meeting agenda. Exactly. And be placed yes. on the, yeah, so that it's an and both. If we're not the date, <laughs> yeah, if we're not, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very council. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the date is. So can, can someone come up with the date for next week? <laughs> this time well, well it all Is depends it on, on when when are we when it all depends like i think whoever ends up like sending this out or whatever well, we, when is it gonna we be have to out? agree yeah we have to agree on the edits tonight so oh, okay if so we agree night, on the yes. edits tonight proofread okay. or whatever yeah. it goes out tomorrow yeah. is what i'm thinking what do you okay. think allegra i like that idea i think um i'd like to keep the kind of cycle of things going on. And I guess that brings the question, will we also send it to the local media sources as kind of an edit, editorial letter? Um, I know that it had, you know other letters have been published in different local media sources. So I think that would be something to consider as well. I'm just looking at next week. So Monday is the 1st of August. So that makes it kind of easy to figure out dates. Um, but yeah, they would need to respond. Let's say if it goes out tomorrow, they need to respond by the fifth. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Respond to what? To our you letter. Mean they, they, if we give them a week. Uh, the chair, the town council chair will say, "Thank you. We receive your 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 statement, your letter. That's it." No, no, no. But we're saying we need to. We want you to respond to our questions and demands. We have to be very clear. Hmm. So let's, okay, 5th. we ask that the town council respond to this letter by August fifth, and that the CSSJC be placed on the next council okay. agenda. I would say like to confirm that we will be placed in the agenda will be more okay. I, I, I agree with what people are saying. Yeah. So I will agree with what Allegra said. We should definitely send this to the media because CSWG have done it in the past. Mm -hmm. So we should send it to local media if they're not yeah. on this uh, Zoom meeting. And, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we can send something. it to them and to the media because we know if we don't send it to them, to the media, nothing will happen. Exactly. Oh, yes. Exactly. Okay. So, I mean probably that sentence construction could be a bit smoother, but um, is that okay? This is the sentence here. Will that work? Hello? Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 yeah, it okay. might be, yeah, one, one week from today sounds reasonable. Yeah, okay, so for now, yeah. that is the, the ending to that. Now, are we ready to look at Dr. Fricke's edits? Absolutely. If, before you do that, uh, yeah. I think the co-chairs need to address, there's an attendee that has a hand raised. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, um, Although I think uh, the time for public comment has yeah, so yeah. we'll have another we will have another public comment at the end. Okay. Um. So we'll open it up then. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know, Kim. Okay. Um. Here we are. So, Dr. Freike, um, you want to go through your uh, suggestions here? Excuse me, I just made a, a few, a couple, I think. Uh -huh. um, I moved the um, youth to the second paragraph, and I think I would have moved um, the request for an investigation maybe to the third. So that's um, one of the recommendations. I think uh, Ms. Pat had a question um, further down. Okay, so can we go um, through 
the top here first. Okay. And, um, and what, what I'll do once you explain your, your moves here, then folks can offer comments so we can find out if there's an agreement for this change. Okay. So I didn't change um, the text, I simply moved it. Um, yeah. So if we want to edit um, that or move it somewhere else, um, that's going to be up to the committee as a whole. Sure. So what do we think, group? I, I like it actually, it shows the priority we place in supporting the youth. So it's, you know, it, it comes out very powerfully. I like that. Okay. I agree. And I think it flows nicely from the last statement of the first paragraph into kind of directly addressing the youth. Sure, our youth did not deserve such, okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right? I that agree. Okay. All right. So I'm going to approve that. Uh, and then we go further down. And here, Dr. Freke. I believe uh, Ms. Pat had a uh, question I, about this. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So people might be reading like it's abundantly clear. Okay, where are we? Um, so Can where, you go back? what is it? Second paragraph, it third paragraph. Oh, oh, right One, here. two, three, uh, four, five, um, paragraph five, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay, from our review of the incident. So I, my question is, um, what is the reason for taking it out? Just, um, just, just a question, yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Um, we haven't reviewed the incident. Um, we watched, yes, but, it says from our review, so that is speaking for the entire group. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, we had we watched the video last week. Watch, okay. But we didn't review the incident because, like I've mentioned, um, I believe the incident is larger than the video, and um, I actually believe that if we were to pull across um, the entire committee, what we think is significant in the video is going to be different for all of us. Um, and so to um, eliminate that ambiguity, that's why I removed our review. Yeah, but we can we can change it to from watching the video then. For watch, th thank you. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, through watching from, from video, watching the video. Yeah, from watching the video, it is abundantly yeah. clear that the work of the I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay. So that because you know to have a reference of, of this paragraph, it was kind of off. Okay. Without it, yeah. Are you what comfortable you with that wording? Are you okay with that? Technically, yes. It is um, a very good use of the passive voice. I'm so I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Yes, and it, uh -huh. it is not passive when you say it yes, is huh? abundantly clear. But uh, we're that's academics. Let's just it, I, I think some passivity here because it does our our letters strong already. So it is very strong. Yeah, yeah. So let's strategically use the passive voice. Um, Philip, what do you think? Hello. I agree. I'm okay with uh, from watching the video. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and have that. And we don't need two commas. Okay, next. All right. Okay, so here, where did this edit come from? So the vision who did, who did this edit is what I'm trying to understand. Is this Freke? Is this your edit? Engage the community in visioning. I actually like that up to sessions. Stop. Delete the rest. Okay. Hold up. I'm trying to, oh, to, to help heal. Full who, stop. To help heal. Who Miss Pat, one moment. Yeah. So um, who did the edit engage the community envisioning sessions to help heal from white supremacy? From the looks of the Google document, it looks like you were the one to edit. Oh, I put that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, it says normal text, but I don't remember writing that. I think, you know. Okay, so remove uh, from white supremacy. That's the only thing I have problem with. Okay. Yeah. So heal. Why do you have a problem with that, Ms. Pat? 
Because from what I understood, yes, some folks, you know, you know, as you know, we're struggling with racism in this town. There are other people who are struggling with other issues besides racism. So my understanding with Dr. Barbara Love is like each group may have issues that they're, you know, struggling with in this town. How can we all, you know, heal from that? It's my understanding of what she's trying to explain to us. So it's not just only racism. No, I got you, but white that, supremacy that is the major part, <laughs> is the main thing. Yeah, white supremacy affects um, socioeconomic class, ableism. Stuff like that. Yeah, um, but it's not a yeah, theoretical yeah. argument. I understand that it might not sound very inclusive. Um, what was I going to say? And oh, the nine youth that were involved, <laughs> I okay. think most of them were identified as color, but there are two that identify as white. Three, that were three. Identified as, three, three that three, were identified. Three. So, yeah. you know, in relation to um, how it intersects with this incident and commenting on this incident, um, you know, again, we could have a theoretical conversation about white supremacy is, you know, affects every aspect of, of our nation. But um, you're saying, Miss Pat, that the language might uh, marginalize folks that we want to bring in as allies. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Like people with agenda, you know, agenda, uh, gender, uh -huh. for example, are okay. prosecuted, you know, let's face it. Okay. So yeah. Um, and like, I'm blanking out right now, but that's no, no, my understanding. I, I hear your point. Do you remember that, Deb? You do? Yeah, okay. no, I do remember it, but I'm I'm trying to think like what exactly we put in our report. Maybe we could just kind of use some of the language from there because um, because the thing is, is that if we take that out too, we have to come up with something else that says right now, it just says engage the community envisioning sessions to help heal. So to so help heal, that's it. Yeah. From inequality, from, you know, inequality. Yeah, from inequity or something like that. Yeah. I, I like that. Something from inequity. There. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Yeah. It covers everything. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, something like that because if yeah, not, that works in general. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can I still what do people know? think? I like that. I like the use of the phrase inequities. It's yeah, definitely more inclusive. Exactly. Thank you. Has from uh, systemic yeah. inequities, from structural inequities. From ah, inequities. yeah. Ah, there you go. Systemic yeah. inequities. Yeah. Which are different, but we could constructual inequities. Okay. Uh, someone has their hand up. I, I can't see it. I'm okay. sorry. Let's see. Yes. Um, Dr. Frick, yeah, perhaps this is the wrong time to say this. I, um, I'm still unclear about the importance of um, this paragraph that is in um, where we reaffirm the following CSWG recommendations. Um, I'm unclear on why we need to list them out um, rather than point people to where they can find those recommendations. Because I believe if this is a letter being sent to um, the town council, then um, they are aware of where that information is and we can speak to them as um, we are hoping to do to remind them of what those recommendations are. Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know about that paragraph. Perhaps someone can enlighten me. No, I, I really, I, I uh, understand where you're coming from and, and appreciate that critique. Um, my concern is that they don't know where this stuff comes from. And um, if we are also plan <coughs> excuse me, planning on sharing this out to media as, as often happens and strategically uh, many groups do, you send it to the town council and then you also send it to the media because it adds, uh, it adds pressure for them to pay attention, of course. That's you know how it works. Um, that 
it's a possibility, in my opinion, when Allegra and I were, were you know, crafting this, that they would have to be listed out. But point well taken that if we were to shorten it, we could indeed put these into the regular paragraphs and um, even hyperlink it or, you know, offer a reminder because this is basically repeating a lot of things that are in the upper paragraphs. So it's up to us. If I may jump in very quickly, I think um, to remind all of us again that CSWG has pushed to get all this um, projects funded. They didn't. By hook, folks, we don't have any spa spaces in this town that we call our own. It's very difficult for us to navigate spaces in this town. So this is like a preamble to the upcoming budget season. Like, see, our kids have no place to go. They hang out in the parking lot. We have no space for our kids to be. So I think it's emphasizing what we really, really need in this town. We need bicultural center and so on and so forth. I think it's very important that we list them. Okay, so Ms. Pat, if we would list them and then uh, go on to Deb, if we would list them, because again, I was shooting down the middle in terms of language, and that's why it's important we do this as a committee. So in saying reaffirm the following CSWG recommendations, indeed, that's what we're doing. Yeah. But if we are to be stronger in the language and demand um, establishing these and funding these. Funding. Yeah, so we should maybe have stronger language that precedes this listing. But let's see what Deb has to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deb. Um, yeah, for me, no, I'm in agreement with uh, Ms. Pat. I mean, we need to we need to list this, you know, um, just because, you know, like in terms of the vacancy, right? We already know that they're they're filling positions and things like that or posting vacancies. So it's important to kind of restate that because what we had recommended is being ignored and obviously what you know seventh gen had talked about what we had talked about and then again like you know the visioning i mean it's 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 incredibly important for us to restate these things i understand and i looked at it too and i was like oh the letter is long and stuff like that but it's important it's and and we can't rely on people going and, and going to go look through remember our, our, our report was long because it had to be right because we have to provide all these data as to why we were recommending it so no one's going to have time for that. So we need to list what the priorities are right on this letter. Okay. So do you think preceding the list, instead of we reaffirm the following CSWG recommendations, uh, we reaffirm and demand, um, I don't know. Funding. Funding. What, what, how, yeah. How should that be worded? I mean, the only thing is, though, with the funding is that remember some of them were just asking them not to not to hire more. Yeah, police. true. Yeah, so so then, that's true. Yeah, so then it won't apply, you know, in terms yeah, of. Okay, so we, we could add something else, like especially in the bottom again, because I think you know we had talked about the ARPA funding or whatever. So it seems yeah. like funding is something important to us. Maybe add it in, at the end, right? In terms okay. of to remind them of funding. Uh, okay, exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. Any other comments? Yes, Philip. Yeah, I think um, going back to Dr. Freke's point and the point of the listing, I think that um, him and I were not a part of the CSWG. And so it does really put into, I guess, the layout of this um, statement. And that's going back to my point earlier as to was this a statement that we were just going to make kind of to the public? Or was it a statement that we we're going to make to the count town council? And in my review of it, if it is going to the town council, then it's not as long of a statement as I think. And I think that the bullet points are important to follow up on what the CSWG has laid out in the groundwork for us, right? And then at the end of it, when we ask for a response, we're kind of giving them the points to respond to. Those are the points that we are looking for in response to in whatever it is the town council crafts. So that way, they almost have kind of a direction and narrative to go off of. Okay, and I wanna make sure I understood what you were saying, Philip. So um, 
you're saying that the demands are part of this bullet list. So that's what the town council is going to uh, respond to. So it should stay. Yes. Okay. All right. That's why I want to make sure it was an affirmative that it was going to stay. Okay. Thank you. Allegra. Um, I just also wanted to say, I think it should stay. And I think part of the reason is it is to the town council and the, the part of the work of the CSWG was done in May. And then there was an election in November. So we have actually what six new counselors since the CSWG started their work. Um, so just to have people who might not have been following their work on the council because they weren't council members at the time be brought up in kind of shorthand would I think be important. Okay, so it helps to inform new council members of these are the demands of the CSWG and, and to remind them this is what we want you all to respond to. Correct. Okay. In addition to that, I think also that I remember in one of the town council meetings where a councillor had actually encouraged CSWG to keep bringing up all this recommendation, you know, publicly so that it doesn't get forgotten. That the more we bring it up, the better. I remember somebody making that comment okay. at the town council. All so, right, so in addition to informing the new councillors, but you know, when you don't hear about something, people forget it, you know. We're bombarded with so much information now that, you know, our retention memory is very, very short. Sure. So the more they read it, even if it's repetitive, it's okay. Okay, good. Um, so did these hyperlinks, by the way, help us, <laughs> remind us of where this stuff exists within these documents also? That was the, the point of, of trying to create it. So, all right. It's very yeah. helpful. Yes, good, it's good, helpful. Good. So, yeah. Then I put in from our conversation earlier, once an investigation occurs, we want the report immediately released to the public. Yes? Okay, we agree to that. All mm -hmm. right, um, this is where the that paragraph was moved. So we're going to approve that. Oh, we're getting there. Almost it looks like, well, hold on. Well, it, did you no. want to put the funding, add oh, anything to the funding? Can, yes. can it just also it looks like the last sentence of the paragraph that got moved did not get moved with the rest of the paragraph oh so was it here we hope together yeah. we can build well so that would go to the end of paragraph two unless we're cutting it unless but i, I think to stay i don't think that would be necessary because um we can move it to some other place where we speak about the center um, because paragraph two, if I'm correct, doesn't um, doesn't mention a center. Yes. So if we could move it to yes. So we have um, ah. So we we should remind them here in this bulleted list, right, about it, the center. It should have been in there. Yeah, it's there as recommended by CSWG created by Puck Youth Empowerment Center under it's the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as recommended by CSWG created by okay, we hope it's together. Already. Yeah, so we, we have. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when but how I put it, I was addressing the youth. So now <laughs> here, do we want to address our town council members? It, it's such an, we can do that like that. Um, we can build a future deserving of the gifts of the youth. I mean, I kind of feel like it made more sense when it was addressing the youth because, I, and I guess just since I wrote that sentence, I guess my I thought putting it, well, no, I'm just like my thought putting it where it was, was that I would mention different things in within the paragraph and then they would all be reiterated down at the bottom. Well, I'm for moving it back up and then it's reiterated at the bottom um, because I thought your paragraph was lovely, but um, what do we decide? Let's try it at the top and see what happens. How do we like that? You can always move it elsewhere or rephrase it. Okay, so. 
here. We hope you will find healing through your family, friends, and community. We hope together we can build a future deserving of all your gifts, time, and energy through the Youth Empowerment Center. Through the, what we should probably say through the building, maybe, of the Youth Empowerment Center. Any thoughts? I'm sorry, what was the other one again? I'm trying to. <laughs> what was... So what it is, yeah, yeah what Good, it yeah. is, yeah. is is Dr. Freake move the um the paragraph oh, on it. the youth up yeah. front. So it's the second uh, part yeah, there. Yeah. And I then this sentence was missing. It was part of this original paragraph. Then, let, then let's leave it there then. Okay, any other thoughts? Does it work there? And well, should it say I mean, energy through the building of a youth empowerment center? The only thing is, is that I don't know if it flows as well now, if you put that there and then you say the incident caption in this video clearly shows blah, 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 you know, I mean. Agreed. We can, we can get rid of it all together. Yeah. I do yeah. like the sentence. But I like the sentence. I like the sentence. Yeah. It doesn't flow now because it doesn't attach to the third paragraph. Allegra, do you, since you wrote that paragraph, do you have an idea on how to create a better transition to that third paragraph? Um, I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm. What we could do, what we could do is take this and put it here and then put that there. And what that does, that sentence, we recognize that incidents like this are traumatizing and can impact your world, your worldview and your view of our community. Um, we hope you will find healing through your family, friends, and this community. A little repetitious, but then the third paragraph, the incident captured in this video. So that might be a way, it's not a, uh, a, a beautiful transition, but uh, it coheres a little bit more to the incident captured in this video. Any other thoughts? So this one, let me just, that will go away. Oh. So I'm looking at the time is 7.45. Yes. So we need to be wrapping this up. So, I mean, you know, I'm not going to quibble on one sentence, yeah. but, um, you know. See, I almost kind of think it does go at the end because the Youth Empowerment Center was a recommendation from the Community Safety Working Group. Okay. Um, so maybe if we say something like the CSWG recommended Youth Empowerment Center, I don't know if that would tie it in better. Or... So here, move it to the last sentence in this paragraph. Right. But isn't it already in the um, in the recommendation section? So it's there, right? Right. And I, I'm not wedded to having that. Like, I think if, if it makes sense to just get rid of that sentence. That's well, no, to I mean, me, I think I think it's good, like where where Demetria has it right now, though, because we're already kind of, you know, that's something that we've been battling for. So mentioning it early on just kind of cemented that for us, this is a done deal. Like this should happen, you know, and then us just kind of, reminding folks that that's still a work in progress later, you know, it isn't a bad thing. I think it works there. If we're going to, if we're going to move it around and play with it, I think it works there because it's kind of like, this is a shout out to the youth right now. Mm -hmm. um, in a way, even though we're sending this to the, the town council, uh, we want them to know you know, again, this is a public document. It's a shout out to our youth. Um, we revisit the issue of the Youth Empowerment Center and our list of demands that um, goes back to the town council. So it's it's up to you all. It's fine. It's fine what it is. What is the title of, 
our statement. Did we come up with this a, a title? No. So if anyone wants to think about that, <laughs> that would be great. Let me see if there's any other edits real quick. And okay. I think Rebecca has his hand up. Oh, yes, please, because I can't see it right now. Um, I, I hope we will revisit the statements uh, or the point regarding um, the compensation fund. I think that should be something we think about a bit more. Um, okay, yeah, and so I think what... it deserves reflection. So I, I, I'm not sure it deserves to be, or I don't know if it should be in this statement as it is. It's something that um, as it has been put out now, and we can begin to think about it um, and um, see how we could make that come to be if it's something that we want. But um, I'm uncomfortable with having it right now in the statement as it is. Okay. And so why, why is that so? What's the discomfort, I guess? Um, Looking beyond this incident to other incidents, then it becomes a question of um, who is a victim? How is this going to be funded? Who, um, what does over surveillance mean? How do we determine impact? Um, there are a lot of, um, there are other things that we can think about and be clearer, and then we could bring this up. It doesn't, um, it doesn't have to be something that we bring up now, but as Ms. Pat has put that out, it's something that we can think about and um, look at ways to make that come into being. I hear you. Uh, as, as far as the, some of the things that you mentioned, over surveillance, we actually define that in 7Gen and the CSWG. So we know what over surveillance looks like and what it does to, um, or how it impacts uh, particularly communities of color and uh, other marginalized communities. Uh, in terms of how we would determine, because what, what you're saying is that, well, guidelines would have to be established, right? Um, that is our, in a, in a way, the CSSJC and the Resident Oversight Board's role. So yes, it's something we could look at down the road, but does that mean we shouldn't uh demand or ask for that as a means of you know as deb had pointed out you know i'm thinking you know these young people uh particularly if they are low income it, this this is traumatizing i know firsthand how these incidences with our youth and the police are traumatizing because my group went out and interviewed not only adults, but young people. And I made sure that I had a licensed psychologist available because I didn't want to trigger for these young people, like have them relive these traumatizing incidences. So, you know, I paid for that. As my company, we paid for that. And can these young people and their families, can they pay for that type of care? So I think Deb brings up an excellent point of how perhaps a fund could be used for these young people and their families. So how do we demand for that? How do we ask for that? That's something I would like to see. Now, again, it's up to the committee. But I don't think we have to have everything definite in what we're asking for. Again, that's we we are we are looking out to correct these economic, social, and um, legal inequalities that exist within our community. That's our job to point those out to figure out at least suggest pathways in which to correct them. The town 
then has to take some responsibility and accountability and figure out how do we get there. So I don't think it has to all be solved is what I'm saying um, for us to suggest and demand action. But that's me. I, um, sorry, Ms. Pats, just give me a moment. Um, I agree, but what I am suggesting is if we study this or we look at this a bit more, then we can have something more concrete to request. Um, so it is um, what I get from you, and I, I think I, if I'm hearing you correctly, is we don't have to have it set in stone. That I agree. Okay. But I still think we, it would be better to have something clearer and definite that we could stand behind. Okay. This isn't a request that we are making out of nowhere, they have been these kind of funds. These funds have exist in other places. Yes. How were they created? How do they work? That's something that we can look at so that we um, can be more confident when we ask for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you thank for you. sharing that. Uh, any other comments related to yes. uh, compensation fund? Yeah, I have my, my hands raised. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. I shrunk it so i could see the, okay. the edit so let me expand okay. it sorry i will continue to bring my business hat to this meeting and i have done in different groups we should not shy away about about compensation because if this had happened to white kids or to a group that are that are deemed powerful we wouldn't be having this discussion okay so I'm very comfortable putting this here. I do agree. We may not come up with you know, details of how this is going to happen, but I am very, you know, I feel very strongly that we need to put it here. I'll give a very quick analogy. It's not the greatest one. In special education, when parents feel that they're not getting the services that they need, and they summon the courage to take the school system to hearing, and if the family, um, I don't want to use the word when, they are made to compensate the student that they didn't get the right services that they want. To me, it's not victim compensation, but it's a form of comp uh, compensation. And you know who benefit most from um, compensation for, from um, special education services? White families, more than bipoc families okay so we should not be sh we should not shy away this is a a capitalist society it's a local society if somebody him harm you and you were right you need to be compensated i'll keep pushing this in 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 our in our committee so i have no problem at all putting that in our statement thank you Deb, thank you miss pat yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, I already said what I had to say, I, and and I think I agree with with what um, you know, obviously, Ms. Pat and, and Demetri, you've said, which is, um, you know, we don't have to have everything written in stone, and we can introduce that. I think it's it's a very important uh, part of what we're talking about because again, we're trying to to deal with the inaction of the town, right? So we're actually making, you know, we're actually making some recommendations here that's solid, which really the town should have done, and they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to, to do what the town hasn't done. And I think it's important for the community to hear that we're coming out with ideas that are actually going to be helpful to them. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to have it all now. We don't have to have it all, you know, at this point. And we can do a lot of the, the kind of follow-up, you know, afterwards. But for us to put it there, it already puts it in the town council's mind for them to know that, hey, we are thinking about this. We're thinking about the community everyone in the community because like like what Ms. Pat said, this is not only going to help BIPOC families, it's going to help all families at the end of the day when we have a victim, you know, um, compensation fund. So, you know, I, I, I don't have to belabor this, but maybe we, I don't know, put it to a vote or something like that. I don't know how we're going to get past it. Okay, well, let's hear what, what Philip has to say. Thank you, Deb. I just want to add that I I'm comfortable with the suggestion or recommendation of adding a victim compensation. I do want us to 
realize and reflect on systematic organizations that then come up with what we're asking and without a recommendation from this group that is clear of what we want, we allow space for what the PD wants and what the PD will come up for. And so therefore, if we had something clearer like Dr. Freke is suggesting, that was a recommendation to basically hold accountable to say, hey, we made that recommendation just like CSW or CS WG, WG yeah. made up, then we can reflect back and go back to our recommendation as opposed to, oh, we made a suggestion about a victim compensation fund and they went off and made one with something that we don't agree with. Okay, so I'm going to agree that more research is needed, but whether, you know, it's, it's like, well, is that our role? Um, or is our role to suggest um, how do we achieve equity? So I think maybe we do need to put it to a vote because like you say, Philip, there, you know, if, if it's not filled in totally, maybe APD, maybe the town will come up with something else, dismiss it all together. But we're one, we run the risk of that anyway in everything yeah. that we're listing. And that yeah. is why I I have to coming out of the charge. What's our charge? What you charged us with? This is this is what we're doing. This is what we're fulfilling. This is what CSWG you know uh, outline as our charge. So if we attach it to part of our charge, um, there might be a way in which we could uh, present it as such. But again, we want a town council you know, be on the town council agenda where we're going to discuss it anyway. And by that time, we could have research on um, examples from other communities, because there are, as you mentioned, Dr. Freke, there are plenty of examples of victim compensation funds that are set up. We, in the 21st century, do not have that. So yeah. we are, again, suggesting this is a road, this is a path to equity. Yes, Allegra. Um, I guess kind of going back to our charge, it, um, it, we, we could recommend either under the resident oversight board or within the, uh, you know, administered by the DEI department, um, or we could just say, you know, further research would be needed to this, as to the specifics of how it would operate. But I do, I mean, I think having it as a recommendation again lays the groundwork for further research and and a more developed idea down the road that is one that is one word good point there's one word that we haven't mentioned in all our discussion and 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 that is justice what does justice look like for people it's different for different people for some people it's financial compensation for some people, just apology might be enough. Mm -hmm. For some people, you know, I can go on and on and on. So we need to, we need to have different options for people. So we need to keep this. I feel very strongly about it. And we should take a vote. Okay. Do we have to move to vote? Or yeah, someone has to make a motion. Um, and so um, you have to kind of phrase the motion that, uh, speaks to uh, uh, keeping a compensate the, the line about a compensation fund within this response. So Ms. Pat, did you want to make the motion? Not really, but I was second it. Okay, <laughs> can, Deb, help me out? can you help phrase the motion? Uh, let me see. Um, I, I move or I move to make a motion. I don't even know. I don't know any of these Robert's <laughs> rules. I don't even know who the hell Robert is. But anyway, I moved. <laughs> The Amherst uh, that that to to keep um, the Amherst Police Department should create a victim compensation fund for people impacted by police harassment and over surveillance. In our letter to the town council, I second that. I okay. 
Unless you want a second, Miss Pat, it don't no, matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, Allegra, you want to move to a vote? Um, do I just say I move to a vote? Well, I yeah. guess we have. So we have to say if there's any. Well, I know oh, we deliberation. Their deliberation well, is their discussion. Of, yeah. Is there further kind of, discussion about yeah. the motion that's on the table? None. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. I think uh, Ms. Allegra had mentioned that we could have um, a sentence that um, speaks to further research being done. Okay, yeah. then we have to make another motion. Oh, but this is the thing. I think I think if we put that in there, it weakens it. Okay. It weakens it, yeah. It weakens it. If you say, you know, further research is going to be done, so then they're going to be like, so why, did, why are you making this right now? If further research, come back to me once you have your research. Oh yeah, they will say that. Yeah, <laughs> you got that right. So with and so this is the discussion deliberation. The other thing, yeah. uh, Dr. Freke, and you know, again, you can vote no, yes, whatever. Um, is that, like I said, it, it puts the onus on the CSSJC, and you know, we already have a large piece of the the charge for this town so are we then hired as consultants to then do that research because hire my company if that's the case um that's not that shouldn't be our fully our role is what yeah. i'm suggesting mm -hmm. that that is something that dei and crest and people who are on paid salaries uh should be researching and actually, and they can research it and bring it to us in terms of so so it can address what you're saying, Philip, right? They I was, can research yeah. it, bring it to us. So for us to then kind of approve it or not or edit it or whatever, so that we can That's have right. more control over it, right? When yeah. they're creating yeah. it, so that then we have more control so that it's not just something that the APD goes off and creates on their own and then creates whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? We would have that control. Um, I hear that. I hear that, and I get that. I would feel comfortable if we added that into the sentence that is laid out right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. That that I would be okay with. That that you know whatever is proposed by the town council is approved by the CSSJC or is reviewed by. I don't know how we want to put it. You know. So we have to make a um, another <laughs> another motion, or it can be two. So we can either vote on the motion as it stands now. Okay. And then someone makes another motion to add that sentence, whatever okay. we think is, is easier. Okay. Yeah, I guess let's vote on what we have now. And then if, if we want to add then, because there's already a motion. Do, sorry, just making sure I have this correct. If we want to amend the statement to add something, do we have to do the amendment to the motion with? I'm yeah, there, there, would, there would, right now it would be, approved or disapproved based on the motion, then someone would motion to add in a sentence and then that would have to then be voted on again. Okay. okay. Or, or we can call Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Robert. Or, or, or I mean, real quickly, <laughs> or we can simply revise the motion and see again if there you go through the process of deliberation. I mean, we'll get this and it'll be, you know, not an issue. Um, and then we vote. So if it's easier for us to simply revise, restate the motion now that we've had deliberation, we could proceed and do that. So who wants to take a stab at re I know. So wait, right now the motion on the floor is to approve the sentence as it stands in the document. Yes. And keep but, it in there. But we've had some help deliberation right so the deliberation uh would have the uh the motion amended okay before voting would someone like to put forward an amendment to so we're so okay. what happens to the to the motion that i made so I'm we, confused. we didn't That's vote on it we deliberated and now we want to revise it Okay, so, now so we we're not voting on the motion, right? So okay, motioning to so I make a motion to amend um, the previous motion. Yes, <laughs> yep. It's to They're include to include an additional sentence. Um, so we would say that the Amherst Police Department should create a victim compensation fund for people impacted by 
police harassment and over surveillance. And what? And um, and we uh, asked the DEI department to provide. What, how do we want to put it? Provide research, provide information that we would uh, approve. Yes. In the creation uh, of this fund. fund. Department to provide information. Okay, in the create. That's better than what I'm about to say. Yes, to provide information in the creation of this fund. Of this fund. Something like that. We probably have to like clean it up a little bit. Does that work? I'm I'm just and not the wording. I'm just concerned, you know, knowing the town council the way they operate. I can almost think one or two people that will be like, well, they don't even know what they're talking about. They did not do any, they will tear us apart with this. This will be so distracting that everything else that we wrote on this statement, I know how oh, some God. of the town councils councillors operate. Well, I like the first sentence. Okay. And then oh, let's vote because I'm going to vote this down. That's that's the point I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we are voting. We uh, does anyone have anything else to say before we vote on the amendment to the original motion? So part of the liberation, Miss Pat. Yeah. I I tend to agree with you. Just a strategy. Yeah. that if we say the Amherst Police Department should create a victim compensation fund for people impacted by police harassment and over surveillance, period, that yeah. they're going to have to deal with that statement. And yeah. when we meet and get on the agenda, those are items yeah. that we could then explain. Yeah. Even as volunteers, we might even research what other municipalities are doing. But like I said, I don't think that needs to happen for us to release this statement. Now, if folks feel better, safer, having that other part of the sentence, I'd vote yes to it too, just as long as that first part of the sentence gets in there, that we should create a victim compensation fund. So however it gets to the council, I want that statement to get to them. Now, if we got to qualify it, fine. We'll have an opportunity to discuss it. What about though, I mean, and again, and now I'm, I'm, I'm changing things up, but I'm trying to kind of like deal with what, what Philip was saying. Instead of saying the Amherst Police Department should create, why don't we say the town should create a victim compensation fund for people impacted by police harassment? and over surveillance, because then that takes it out of the police creating it, um, but it's the town creating it to deal with police harassment. Well, and they're then, town employees. Yeah, so. but I'm saying, because right now what we're saying is for them to create it, yeah, and yeah. that's where the danger is, right? It's like, what is APD gonna do? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna create some fun that's gonna be <laughs> crazy or whack, you know, um, as opposed to, you know, us generalizing it a little bit more and then saying, but still saying this, this compensation, this victim compensation fund needs to be done because of the impact of police harassment. Okay, um, point well taken. I so mean, that that yeah. could be a way to deal with what Philip is saying, you know, I, I don't know. So Philip, yeah, since you my, brought it uh, up. Yeah, that was my original thinking, but Allegra made very good point. Why should it come from another fund? Why not the police themselves who are harming our community why not come from their fund so either way either way that we go is fine with me yeah, we can from say the funded by the police by the, the police, apd yeah. but i don't know if we want them to create it <laughs> That's the problem. oh yeah you're right because right. they'll just screw it up yeah. so i um, amend the amended amendment <laughs> yeah yeah no it's all deliberation so philip what what do you feel about uh, it saying the town i feel comfortable about it saying the town um that was my concern with that the police department okay. is going to create something and and not, but I also still feel as if we still need to have it said somewhere that we want to be the one to review said creation 
whether that be from the town or mm -hmm. the police department or whoever. I don't want it just to be created and then us be like, oh, here you go. Here's what we created and this is what we're implementing based on your recommendation. I, I can guarantee you, Philip, that the, somebody from the town council will ask the question, will have questions to ask about this. So I don't think we need to write everything down. Mm -hmm. if, we're, if our coaches are going to be making presentation, I can very much guarantee you that whatever they sit spending money that will benefit marginalized people, that's where they will laser focus. I don't, my point is, I don't think we need to add too much wordings there. It will I, come I, up. I hear that. And I don't think the concern is wording. Our, our statement is already two pages plus. So <laughs> adding in that sentence is not a concern of mine. And if it's going out to the public, then it allows the public to see that we are kind of holding the town council accountable rather than having to then go to the town council meeting to hear our two co-chairs hold them accountable yeah it puts it out in the newspaper we're holding them accountable right agreed so i this is just a suggestion the town should create a victim's compensation fund guided by the principles of the cswg and the cssjc or um something stronger than guided perhaps um, uh, shaped by CSSJC? Shaped by CSSJC. Okay. How about shaped and approved not. by? <laughs> okay. <laughs> approved, approved. Well, I, I guess we can say shaped by the CSWG and approved by the CSSJC, because remember CSWG is not. Okay. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for my horrible typing. Oh, okay. please, you're doing great. Shaped by CSWG and approved by, there we go. The CSSGC. Okay, so what about that being the new statement? Well, we need to put the victim compensation fund, remember, to, uh, what is it? Uh, for people, for people impacted. impacted by police harassment. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, so the town should create a victim's compensation fund shaped by CSWG and approved by the CSSJC uh, for people oh, shaped impacted. by the CS CSWG principles and approved by the oh. S CSWG okay. principles. I think we should take our CSWG completely. It will be very confusing. You think? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's focus on, yeah. It's approved by the CSSJC, okay, let's do that. Yeah, shape, shape and approved by CSSJC. Okay, yeah. Shape yeah. and approved by. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Uh, let's see, shaped and approved by the CSSJC for people impacted by police harassment and over surveillance, period. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Okay. What do you think about that, Philip and um, Dr. Freke? That would get a yes from me. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Freke? Give me a moment. Okay. So in the meantime, do you want me to motion again? Well, let's see, because maybe we won't need to vote if um, Dr. Freke agrees, then it's just part of the document. Oh, okay. Gotcha. While Dr. Freke is taking a moment, can uh -huh. I just point out that I did some last minute cut? Yes. Yeah, so should I go way at the top and then? Yeah, I think I just focused on the bottom. Oh, okay. 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 I think okay. there was just maybe a little bit of, um, I felt like there was some repetition just because we sure. already are saying we reaffirm CSWG recommendations. So I just kind of took out wherever it said advised by CSWG. Ah, yes. Because I felt like we had already uh -huh. said they were the CSWG recommendations, if that makes sense. Got you. And then here. Yeah. Yeah, I put that in so we can, for particularly, you know, Philip and, and Dr. Freke, mm -hmm. um, I know y'all are still, you know, reading up a lot of this literature because it, it was... Within the short amount of time, CSWG uh, and 7Gen produced a lot 
of research and uh, reports. And so there is a lot there. Okay. I want to sit, uh, put. Uh, Wait, what put just in happened, word. Allegra? What just happened with that edit? I think that I didn't put it far enough, so it needed you. If you just take it and start with the make the C big and erase the. Okay. Um. Erase the what's it called comma. Okay. So, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, let me go back here. Okay. There we go. All right. There's something in my mind that I wanted to just throw out here. We don't have to discuss it tonight, but do we really have to follow Robert's rule? <laughs> because we did not do that with CSWG. And I feel that Robert yes. Rose is colonial mentality. You know, yeah. this committee is supposed to be an empowerment committee. And I, I think we should discuss it in our next meeting. We can, there are other ways, you know, majority can approve stuff. This Robert thing, we, you know, we abandoned it at, um, uh, with CSWG. Uh, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong, Deborah. Yeah, I don't think we followed it like but to a T, but, it, you know, yeah. but I Is think that, we did do though some of the motions, but I think you, you bring up a great point, Pat, yeah. Miss Pat, because oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm like, who the hell is Robert? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, we, we, we need to do things differently. We can't continue with this co colonial mentality. It is you know? real baloney. I'm sorry. We're not doing this. You know, something for us to, to think about next time. Okay. Definitely. Title, title of the. Um, I know y'all were supposed to give me a title. Freka, have you come to a, a decision about? Um, I would rather not have it in there, but I would still, um, I think we still have to approve the entire document as it is. And so I would approve it despite my apprehension of that um, part. That said, um, let's not forget that I think Dorothy Palm um, had her hand up some time ago. Um, yeah, yeah, again, we are taking hey, um, my fellow comments. <laughs> we are taking comments right. at the end, Dr. Freke. So at the beginning and then at the end, we'll we'll have comments. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. Yeah. Did you guys hear what I just said? No, Miss Pat, what was it? I applauded my fellow, it's, it's nickname that we give to each other. Instead of saying Nigerian, we say Niger, N-A-I-J-A. -A. Uh. I say, yay, my fellow Niger, thank you. <laughs> That's what I just said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, have to mix up, we have to mix up our meeting, people. It's Robert <laughs> Gould and taking turns. We should abandon all that, abandon it. I you second that. Job. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. In, in a motion that I can make, and I don't know if people want to, but I'll make it. Um, I would like to motion that our two co-chairs title this document. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if we need a title. We need to get to the town council. That's it. Keep it moving. Yeah, I letter. think. Yeah, it's a it's a a letter yeah. about the July fifth um incident okay. yeah i i'm fine with yeah to the town Maddie. council ray regarding our uh, re the, the july 5th incident yeah so we'll we'll do that if that's okay with everyone so we don't have all we have to do now is simply um uh, if if dr freke is okay even with hesitation of including that uh part about compensation um we can approve the letter as it stands or are there other edits to make we want to hear from uh miss um dorothy pam i got you oh, i just want yeah, to make yeah. sure okay. right Let's now the this. committee yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay i think i i motion to approve the letter Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. 
Um, I will do a name ro roll call vote, correct? Um, or do I have to ask for deliberation if it's a motion to approve? Yeah, because I, I need just clarification so that everyone okay. is clear about it. So when we're saying we approve the letter, does that mean we're signing on to? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's, so that's a good point. That's a good point of clarity, Deb. Um, yes. Is that what we're understanding as a committee? Are we all signing yes. on? Or are we just doing resident oversight, resident oversight committee, the CSSJC without names? How are we, how do we want to send this? With names. With yeah, names. we usually do CSSJC, again, yeah, with names. We okay. always do with names. Mm -hmm. And is everyone okay with that? Yes. I'm okay with that. Okay. Dr. Freke? Yes. Okay. Then the motion can proceed for a vote. Okay. Um, starting with Ms. Pat. Big yes. Yes and yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Deborah? Yes. Freke? Yes. Philip? Yes. D? Yeah. And I am a yes. So the motion to approve the letter and include our names in it passes six yes, zero, zero, zero abstentions and zero absences. <laughs> am I supposed to go through? Yeah, this, no, <laughs> you don't. No, no. So great. Um, Thank you, everyone. That the, we got through it. And uh, Deb, yes. um, I would like to you know know more about how letters the the edits were sent in beforehand um uh pam you're going to check on that how we are able to do that uh within um you know the for, for meeting purposes open meeting law so let's make sure we adhere to that um because again we have a charge so thank you all for for contributing to this letter yes. um so you want to continue allegra with the meeting and um we have comments we have um oh, where did the agenda go i lost the agenda hmm. let me see and i'll take it out of letter mode um do, do, do. There we go. Let's see what else. Okay, so any updates from the committee? Nope. Um, any upcoming agenda items or meeting schedules? Our next meeting was scheduled for August 23rd, I believe it was. And I think we had talked about agenda items at the previous meeting. Um, again, I will send out a reminder a week before for anything to be put on the agenda in addition to what was already. Can I just add one right now? Yes. Our meeting, our meeting procedure. Meeting procedure. Rob, Robert Rolls. Robert Rolls. Yes. So get rid of it. Do okay. not like Robert. <laughs> that's um, colonial, that's colonial mentality. We don't want that. Right. Thank you, Miss Pat. I agree. Um, and let's see, any other topics we did not reasonably anticipate 48 hours before this meeting? No. Okay. Um, can we bring Dorothy in to give her comment? Hello, Dorothy. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I just had a, a quick comment. Um, I am um, the or one of two um, official liaisons from the town council, which means that I don't comment on content, although I'll say it's been a really interesting discussion. Um, I, but I wanted to um, make a point for something that I don't know if it's still in the letter as you've drafted it, but um, asking for the town council to act in five days, just to remind you that the town council is totally bound by open meeting law, and I'm constantly learning more about this. It means we're not allowed to talk about anything amongst ourselves. We can only discuss or take an action in a public, open public meeting where the agenda has been announced two, two days in advance. So there's no way that the town council can take an action um, before the next meeting. And I, I just got it clarified today 
Uh, we do not have a meeting on August 1st. We have a meeting on August 15th because um, the, the president was trying to give the town staff some vacation time because we can't have a meeting without involving a lot of town staff to um, do us with a Zoom meeting. So our next meeting is August 15th. And so town council members will not be able, we can't even do it by serial email. Um, they will call us on it and it, it's, you know, I don't totally understand it, but that's how, that's how they run it. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Um, and um, I, I would really appreciate if I could get copies of your agenda and minutes because I, I love coming to your meeting and I love the way you run it. Um, I'm just supposed to make some kind of brief report, not with opinion, just report um, to the town council when they call for liaison reports. So that's what my status is here. Um, any questions, I can, I can try to answer them. A uh, comment actually, um, Councillor Pam, I did mention to Ms. Moiston in a previous meeting to invite you and Pat, uh, Councillor Pat DeAngelis because I watched the town council meeting when two of you were voted to be liaison to this committee. Right. And I'm sorry that um, you guys have not received any Zoom link to join us. Um, I thank you tonight for coming on. Well, they did. They, she did tell me when the meetings were going to be held. So she yeah. did respond. Um, okay. And um, so she, she did something. But okay. because I reached out to Ms. Moiston yes. to invite both of you. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. So Dorothy, thank you for, for uh, being the liaison. I know um, it's extra time that, that you all um, have to extend as town council members. And thank you for that qualification. So that is something that um, we will maybe need to revise um, in looking at the dates. Um, if that's August 15th, which is a Monday, of course, then uh, we can expect um, by maybe August 16th, which is Tuesday, if there is some discussion as we want to be on the agenda uh, for that August 15th meeting of this letter. It would be included in your packets by that time. Uh, so the, the whole council would have read it. Right, and, and, and the agenda is set by the president. Um, yes. So you may, you may want to reach out to her. Of course, of course. So the, uh, we as co-chairs, uh, Allegra and I, will certainly do that when we send the letter. Um, but then our deadline for a response, I would say, would have to be on that Tuesday mm -hmm. at the very least, because uh, ideally uh the the town council would discuss the letter during that meeting and we would have an opportunity of course to present um if we're on the agenda right i hope so that yeah. sounds good okay so um that is something we need to look at as a group before we sign off any questions for our liaison dorothy pam okay thank you dorothy Thank you. Okay. So can I just suggest that we change the date of the of the um, response request from the fifth to the sixteenth? Yes. yes. Sure. And then everything else in the letter will stay the same as we already approved. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good with that? Yep. Okay, so the- See, that's why I said remove robot rules. It's <laughs> <laughs> so nice and easy. You guys, are right. stuck with, you guys are stuck with African women. <laughs> I, uh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. They're yes. Stuck with me. <laughs> the African uh, way. Huh? All right. So I, if there's no other comments or questions, um, I think uh, I think we, we should just open up to comment because someone did just join like within the last 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so that's a comment? 
We do have a new attendee in the audience. I don't know if they have any comments to share with the committee. If so, please raise your hand and then we will bring you in. And if not, that's also okay. Thanks for watching and listening. Oh, I meant to also say, um, Dorothy, this is uh, recorded and the recordings are shared. Um, and upload it uh, at Amherst Media. Of course, Amherst Media is still trying to solve their cable casting issue and then move to their temporary uh, place. But um, these are all going to be shared because they are recorded. So maybe you could use that in terms of minutes as well. OK, so if no one uh, in the attendee section has any comments, I move for us to adjourn. Seconded. OK, call for a vote. Yay. Good night. Yay. <laughs> OK. All right, Wait, thank I'm you. Done. I have to Simple. officially close the meeting. Yeah, 831. Okay, it's 831, okay. we're done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Right, thank you. All right.